And speaking of Abby, they had a pretty big buyout too in March. That one was Pharmacyclix for $21 billion. Yeah, Humira accounts for 61% of uh, AbbVie's sales. So with a pending patent expiration, despite you know their best efforts to use legal wrangling and, and new formulations and such to try and deli- delay the entrant, entrance of biosimilars. And that has been a valiant effort on their part. Yeah, and they'll continue to advance that. You know, And who knows, maybe they push back the entrance of these biosimilars by a few years by doing it, but it's, it's delaying the inevitable. So they needed to go out and, and really get something that was going to be big and, and potentially transformative to make up for the sales that could be lost to Humira, you know, a drug that has 13 billion in annual sales, um, not easy to fill. Uh, however, they did go out, they spent $21 billion to buy Pharmacyclics earlier this year to get their hands on the blood cancer drug, uh, uh, well, leukemia, uh, especially in Breveca, uh, which is co-developed by Johnson & Johnson. And that drug has just been a gangbuster drug, incredibly successful, <clears throat> potentially going to get approval next year for use in the first line setting. Uh, and that has, you know, I'd be thinking that, well, at least we can get, you know, peak sales out of that drug of, you know, five to six billion over time. Yeah, and that's especially impressive when you think about the fact that they only get to retain 50% of the profits. And so if you have management saying that they could bring in $7 billion in revenue just from this one drug, you're talking about that equating to a projection of peak sales of $14 billion. Yeah, these drugs, again, biologics are, uh, like in Breveca, are they're very expensive drugs. You know, they carry $100,000 plus a year price tax. <clears throat> and now... Some of those drugs, expensive drugs, don't add a lot of, well, arguably don't add a lot of value as far as extending progression for your survival or overall survival. But in the case of Imbravica, it really does. You know, the the trial that's backing up the application for approval in the first line setting in CLL, um, chronic lymphocytic uh, leukemia, that showed an 85% reduction. in risk of death. <laughs> so, you know, this is a, this is a very important drug. It's an expensive drug, and it certainly could generate significant revenue uh, for the company. Whether or not it's enough to offset the risk to Humira, that still remains to be seen. But it's definitely one of the bigger deals of the year.